All right, I got the website up and going. I'm uh, working on some ideas for some how-to videos to, to put up there, but uh, right now I already have a decent tool collection, so I'm gonna start uh, giving a product review and recommendations for uh, some tools to get to help you do your how-tos. Uh, the, my main tool that I go to for most of my diagnostic work is uh, my digital multimeter. Now, usually one with this many functions would be you know, uh, over $100 easily from a, a higher-end company like Fluke or something. But I picked this up at Harbor Freight probably three, four years ago and haven't had a problem with it. Uh, it's a Centec P37772 digital multimeter. It has a rubberized uh, coating that comes, the shell that comes off of it. That keeps it pretty protective if you do tend to drop it, but I haven't dropped this one yet, I don't think. Uh, not hard anyway. And, uh, digital which is very nice for making readings easy you don't have to you know squint at whatever nice big numbers uh, the display actually has a little button on top that you push down and it will pivot so you can lay it flat and read it from a distance if you're setting it on something or you can just lock it into place there as a hold function it'll do unfused up to 20 amps fused up to 200 milliamps dc ac uh, temperature probe that comes with it has a uh, PNP and NPN transistor readings, or uh, testing rather, um, capacitor testing, uh, voltage AC, voltage DC, again, amps AC, amps DC, um, farads for your uh, capacitor, tests hertz, and uh, ohms, with again, with the temperature and the uh, HFE for your uh, transistors. So it's a very uh, comprehensive meter for a uh, about 20 bucks on sale at Harbor Freight every other week. It's 25, I think, usually off sale. But uh, yeah, great, great tool to have. Good bang for your buck. Has a hold function, digital on off. Um, batteries last a long time if you remember to turn it off. Uh, continuity test with the speaker here. Has a beep, which is uh, nice if you're not wanting it be looking at your meter the whole time you're testing or if you're away from it. Um, this is on voltage DC here. Uh, two volts is the, the max readout right now. So I have a couple of double A's and a nine volt. So we'll go ahead and test those. So right now she's kind of floating in the in the voltage. Um, and there's 1.673, 1.674. Yeah, pretty good, pretty high accuracy that I've experience with it. Uh, 1.666 and uh, for the 9 volt, so we'll just demonstrate how uh, the max reading is going to work on here. So this is at 2 volts and this is testing 9. So it's not going to pop it, it's just going to read 1, meaning it's over its, over its rating capacity. So I switch that up one more click to 20, which is what you use to use a, to read a car battery or an alternator output and whatnot. That's what I usually have it on. And the same battery, 8.39. So, pretty uh, pretty handy little tool. And I also like to pair it up with another Harbor Freight purchase, which is a pack of these alligator clips. I forget how many you get in the pack, but definitely worth it when they're on sale. Um, so I just keep an eye out for those. I clip, clip my black to the black. Red to red, keep it keep it color coded, and then you can clip these onto wires or terminals or whatever, so that you can have a constant readout while you do other th other things or read the meter without having to hold the probes on there all the time. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, Centec P three seven 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 two digital multimeter. Pick it up at Harbor Freight, and uh, you won't be be disappointed. Subscribe, like, comment. Uh, Check out my site, WalterHowTo.com, for uh, basic how-tos and uh, product reviews. Thanks for watching.